All right, I talked it over with them, and we are going to try a co-op match. Now, I've only done one of these. Ooh, baby. This is a new feature they added, well, new, over the years, so I'm not fully caught up on this, but I know it has its own set of cards and its own special set of rules, so we're all going to learn a little bit on this one together. We've got a lot of map options. So the neat thing about co-op is that it unlocks every map as an option. So even the ones that we haven't bought yet for regular mode is ah. here as an option. So we do not have a shortage. Enjoy it until they there monetize are. it. There yeah. are a lot of maps. We haven't even looped yet, just in case you haven't noticed that. Jeez, wow. There, we just hit random. Now we've looped. <laughs> there are this many maps. <laughs> Does it actually like matter what we Good pick? Because these are going to be altered versions of these maps for this, yeah? Not really. It doesn't matter. But like, obviously, there's, some will be easier, some will be harder. Some have special effects, like you can see healing spaces there. Uh, some have uh, move boost spaces. So, uh, which one? Do you have any preference? Lagoon fight. Lagoon flight is probably the most basic of them all, because all the other ones add on. That's what I was gonna say, just so we chicks. can like see what it's like in a controlled environment. All right. Yeah, yeah. Lagoon flight, and now we can choose what boss we fight. So by default, there's Big Chicken, which is Big the Haro. There's also the M10 all robot. These, all these variable bosses that we have never run into. <laughs> Star Devour. Ooh. Summer Beast. Big the Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, you almost have to. Go with that I, I was gonna be like, Star Ro Devour is cool though, but come on, it's named Jonathan. Yeah, Ropochi, and then that, that's the bosses. All right, so Big the Jonathan <laughs> yes, is agreed. Yeah. Big the Jonathan on Lagoon Flight. There are difficulty settings as well. Uh, the higher the difficulty, the more brutal the boss is. Also, the smaller your choice of maps becomes. Notice how there's only one option for the hyper fight. Mm -hmm. Apparently on hyper difficulty, oh. they have their own special moves and everything. I'm going to say, <laughs> and if you pick casual, you can play on practice field, <laughs> which we haven't done. So if you want to do practice field... Otherwise, I'm good with Lagoon. Flight yeah, CO, I, I think this looks good. I want to yeah, see why it's split in two. Like, do some people go on one side and some go on the other, but you can warp? Uh, yeah, so uh, the warp space this time around jumps you between the two boards. Okay. Well, let's get this started. All right. There's also mixers. Confusion. All players' cards are rearranged and put face down, making the cards unreadable to both the owner and other players. Bigger, drop double stars on drop panels, and healthy boss. Boss has additional 10 HP. We can <laughs> turn those off if we don't want them, but I, they're defaulted on. I say leave them on. <laughs> yeah. All right, leave, leave them on. All right, let's do it. All right, we'll cut away to when we start getting set up for the game. All right, so you said we had new cards to select from. Yeah, so here's the thing. There are roles now, so this is going to get interesting here. Uh, there are roles in co-op that level up. I swear to God, did someone else just show up at the front door? No, that's the old one. Thank goodness. Uh, <laughs> this recording got delayed because people kept showing up at the front door again. Uh, so there are three different roles. Notice how there's like a little, what looks like a bat wing uh, next to your avatar. That's actually a sword slash. Mm -hmm. uh, there are three different types of uh, roles. There's attacker, guardian, and support. And then they all get special abilities. You can hover over them. Like attacker gets advantage. Always go first in battle when fighting a boss. Recovery down. Uh, so you get, at level one, you get plus one to recovery rolls. Mm -hmm. And attack boost. At level two, attack plus one, and attack and at normal four, attack plus two. And you can level them up, which will get you certain things. They're deck points and uh, extra bonuses. Guardians get protect. Pay one HP to protect target from up to two incoming damage. And defense boost, Norma 2, defense plus 1, Norma plus, Norma 4, defense plus 2. Same deal, leveling up gets you more things. And there's support. Support gets movement boost. Norma 2, movement plus 1, Norma 4, movement plus 2. Heal, can heal an ally for 1 HP when entering their panel. Revive, can revive an ally by paying 3 stars times remaining uh, recovery when entering their panel. And evasion boost, you can, at level 3 you get plus 1 in evasion. Each character has specific, uh, is weighted for each role mm -hmm. based on the little letter that's by the symbol. Uh, on my screen, the screen that people are seeing, uh, Kiyosuke is best weighted towards being a guardian because he's A rank. 
I, but from what people have told me, you can pretty much play any role you want, because I've already played Kyosuke as an attacker by the looks I of it. I have Cs on all three of them, so I guess I'm equally weighted. Yeah, yeah, because QP is pretty is is the Mario of this game, like even balance. So you can pick whichever role you want. Since I'm lean, since it says A Guardian, I'll probably pick it. Uh, Tim, what about you? What are your three letters? How do I get back to picking cards? Oh, if you already okay, then you're locked in. What did you? So you didn't change it, right? Well, if he's the attacker, I can just be the support. All right, that works. Um, one other thing I was going to explain is the the number or the letter next to your symbol dictates how many card points you get as well. If your character's, like, the higher the letter is, the less you get. So I only get 10 card points because I'm picking Guardian, but I'm supposedly best weighted towards being the Guardian. So I'm going to go with Guardian roll. And if you want to do support so we have one of each, we can do that. Oh, yeah, it even straight up says that Tim picked the sword, so he's attacker. Sweet. I haven't... I haven't seen a couple of these before, so this is interesting, because, yeah, these are... Some of the cards I already pulled from... From my other, uh, my main deck, but some of these are also really interesting to see here. Yeah, in between on the break, I bought a couple in the store with the... Nice. With stars or whatever. There's one that, like, forces you to roll either a one or a six, I think. Oh, that nice. That one sounds good. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Woo! And there's our partner oh, as well. Ooh, yeah. she's interesting. Got a lot to her. Mm, I was about Looks to like say she her starts. Name, That's but... Lulu. <laughs> Isn't there like also an emo Lulu girl in Final Fantasy X or something? Yeah. Oh yeah. God, I. <laughs> I can't get over. I was like, "What are you talking about?" What? I was confused what you were talking about at first, but you're right. Okay, okay. I was about to say, I'm like, "Wait, am I wrong?" <laughs> no, no, you're fine. It's a, <laughs> it's an army duck. Yep, I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready for a lot of a lot of nonsense here now. Jeez. Oh. It's a mad mallard. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> that works. Even though we're on normal, this might not be easy. Well, yeah, it's normal. All right, well, the good news is we can see what cards everyone has, too. You can just hover over the ones that are in the corner. So Lulu's already got her hyper. I like how we can see each other's cards, though. That might be nicer for the viewers. Um, That's that's literally what I just said, Emil. Yeah. All right, what's my protect ability? Oh, that's actually to choose. Mm, I don't want to do that. Oops. Well, now I've done it. Good news, Lulu. I'm protecting you. <laughs> Lou. <laughs> Uh, it's so nice not having to be afraid of you. Yeah. <laughs> really? It's an interesting statement to make. This guy is the true boss of this. Jeez Louise. Oh, he gets to move and stuff. All right. Oh yeah, no, he's uh, he's actually like a character that can do things. Okay. Oh, it's and it shows scary. what moves he's gonna do next. So uh, a random player will heal one HP next turn is what he's Dude, using. Dude, this is like a Lulu used. Oh no. Oh. Warp. Dude, this is like if Evolve lived up to its full potential. Really? That's the comparison you're gonna make? Evolve? Yeah. There's a big giant monster. It's moving around the board. It can run away from us. It can pick us off one by one. It can go aggressive and. There's four of us trying to bring it down. All right. Don't forget to like get your normal leveled up too because then you'll have more abilities as well. Yes. So it's 15 or more stars to start out and not 10. Or am I incorrect yeah. in that it, okay, okay. You can do either one. You can either get two or more enemies or get 15 or more stars. They're both active. Yeah, but is it, isn't it normally 10 in the other mm. games that it starts off with? Yes, okay. you are correct. So the goals are harsher. Well, I can't do either of those right now, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, you know what? Let's get some stars. <laughs> nice. There you go. And if anyone lands on a star space, everyone gets stars. Here we go. All right. 85. <laughs> it is Again, his health is in the top man. middle. You can't miss it. It's 85. <laughs> it's going to take a while. This is a co-op mode oh, for a reason. Oh, I couldn't see the health because I had the chat window, like, high opacity on top oh, of it. You can, you can hide that. Click the uh, the little dot, dot, dot bubble up there. Okay. 
You can also adjust the opacity on that yeah, menu, Yeah, I, I had a high chance. I, I made the opacity for it high because I thought it looked cool in the menu, and I didn't know it was going to obstruct details in the actual game. <laughs> Good lord. It's only in co-op mode. Okay. There you go. If you get the star... No, not enough. Pretty weak. Off by one. Pretty weeny. Alrighty, then. Ooh, you. It's up to you, Tim. Well... We need to get levels no matter what, so... Yeah. Well, no, I didn't mean you didn't have enough to oh, level I thought, up. I mean, oh, shoot. This is like that thing that Chaz does in Steven and Friends where he tells people you could do this thing and it's actually terrible advice. And he's like, yeah, I wasn't saying you should do it. I was just telling you that you could. No, no, I wasn't even telling him no, to I, stop at the base. I, you, I was telling I him, you, I thought he was deciding between the two spaces. I know you weren't. It just reminded me of that. It was like unintentionally that. Yeah. Whoa, is this like a, is that a JoJo reference? That is actually a JoJo reference. Whoa. There you go. Well, stop wow. at the base and we can uh, level up. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! In your face. Well what are you saying done. in your face for? It's a co-op game. No, I mean, I went woo in your face in the game. Like, I turned and I went oh. woo in, right in your face, and you just, like, sat there stoically, like, just ignore him. All right, I got a, I got a defense buff on my character now. I, I don't know about it. I think I might apply to everyone. I forget. I Seeing this JoJo reference mm. reminds me, I found mm. out that the voice actor for Joseph Joestar, like, died just a couple of years ago, and he was pretty young. Uh, yeah, he's also was in a lot of roles. Yeah, he was he was a, like a super famous movie. voice actor. I I found out about him though because I went to go look up the clips of the oh no, and then like all the comments were like rest in peace. And I was like, oh my god, he died. And, yeah, I didn't actually know that that right. happened. What's Quake? Can't oh change. no! Oh boy, he's oh. coming right for us. He's here. Speaking of oh no, Quake gain minus two movement. Ew. One of the cards. Okay, I can't really do anything right now. Move it, move it! And boost. And one plus one amount of cards that can be held to maximum five. Oh, neat. <laughs> I got scared when the boss flew by just now because he was close to me and I thought he was going to get me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was an event. One of those animations. Jeez. Chad, he's spinning around. Do, 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 do. Oh, I guess that one. Yeah, that's a lot of way. Look out! Cloud of Seagulls. He's attacking people, that's all his special abilities. Tim, look out! Yep. It's time, let's oh. see what you got. He's got a flock of seagulls haircut and only one nostril. Big the Jonathan looks pretty smug. This music is so not fitting. <laughs> I know. For mm. I love how yeah, it's, it's my theme that strange. ruins the tension every time. <laughs> now is the time for happy thoughts. It actually kind of fits with how Tim sure. is just like, yeah, man, I got this. Seven. Oh, nice. Ooh, good damage. Good turn. Damn, damn. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I spoke too soon. No oh, different. Let's do that. He could evade this with a perfect six, though. Uh, I, I guess he could defend it with a perfect six. He pretty much just needs a perfect six to do this. Hey! Oh! Nope. Wrong nope. roll. It was a four with a plus two. All right. Next turn, he's going to use chase around. All units are warped to random panels. Sure. The AI does that a lot where they choose to roll two dice so they can move one square to their base. Just a warning, too. Uh, he used the move called Dive. Boss will return to the marked panel. All players on marked panels suffer KO. Characters in two panel radius take boss level damage. Marked panel becomes a damage panel. Draw and play a new card. So I believe that's the, the missile mm. that's up on the other side of the map. So be careful around that. What happens if I land on a boss space in this map? Do I actually fight him? You, f you fight the boss. Oh, that's all there is to it? Okay. Um, yeah, not sure what you expected. I wasn't sure if there were like mid bosses that you could fight separate from him. Buy in the I'm farm. Pretty sure that's how it works. Again, I remember I've only done this once, but yeah, there it goes. It's the boss. 
It'd be weird to have a mid-boss, the regular enemies, and the actual boss. I feel like that's overkill. That would. Uh, attack. Give me... Give me defense. Good. <laughs> what? It, <laughs> I still you, you hit him. I still wow. Hit him. I mean, we take those. Why do I always do one damage? I do pretty good with defense and evading, though, but it's always one damage out of me. 